Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is the Beware spread for June 2021. We have the Moon clarified by the Three of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords, and we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So, um, the first two cards on the left, the Moon with the Three of Swords, the Moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with, but I think this is your energy. Aries and the moon is usually about somebody who is uh, kind of depressed, somebody who is sad, especially together with the three of swords. Uh, the three of swords is a card of a breakup, this is a card of a betrayal, this is a card of a devastation. So somebody uh, recently or not so recently broke your heart and they could have cheated on you or they could have just walked away from you. They did something that uh, did not sit with you well and it is still not sitting with you well. The way they uh, left you was just unacceptable. They did something pretty bad. The next card I came out is the Nine of Cups and uh, we also have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords right next to it. So somebody is coming into your life this um, <clears throat> month. It could be a Knight of Swords, uh, I mean it could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius because we've got the Knight of Swords or it's somebody rushing into your life and uh, <clears throat> Hi Aries, this is the Beware reading. We have the Moon clarified by the Three of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups, we have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords, we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or pretty much any sign, this is a general reading. So the first two cards on the left, the Moon clarified by the Three of Swords, I think this is what happened to you at um, in a recent past or a relatively recent past. The Moon with the Three of Swords, this is you sad, this is you being depressed about a breakup and that breakup must have been pretty bad because the Three of Swords is usually a card of a devastation, this is a card of a broken heart, this is a card of a betrayal and that's why you come through as uh, the moon energy. The moon energy is somebody who is sad, somebody who is uh, depressed, somebody's got fears. Basically you're still recovering from that uh, pretty bad breakup. Uh, this is a kind of a depressing combo to be honest with you with the uh, moon and the three of swords and uh, here comes this new person or perhaps this is somebody you already know because the next card that came out is the nine of cups and uh, then we also have the Knight of Swords clarified by the Ace of Swords. The Knight of Swords could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or this is somebody rushing into your life because they heard the news or they just learned that you broke up with somebody and uh, it's a wish come true for them. The Nine of Cups in the middle, I think this is the energy of the person coming in. This is a wish come true that you are available or perhaps it was a wish come true for you to um, break up with this person. They really did not want you to be with this person. They wanted you all to themselves. And uh, the way I'm looking at this spread, because this is the beware spread, right? I think this person sees an opening and not in a positive way. I think they see you as somebody who is vulnerable and uh, they're going to swoop in and take advantage of that. I don't know at this point if um, they're j they just want to have a little fun with you and uh, be on their married way or if they're happy that you are single and they can just you know get together with you and continue on but to be honest with you I think this person is coming in from a not such a positive, not such a good way because right now they do see you as somebody who is um, recovering, somebody who is vulnerable like I said and I think they're seizing the moment with you. Uh, the Empress on the bottom of the deck, that is you Aries, right? You are still the Empress, don't forget about that. You are a wounded Empress for the lack of a better word, for the lack of a better expression, that's why they're coming in. They do see you as somebody who is amazing, they do see you as somebody who is 
the Empress, right? Because the Empress does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. And I think that they're trying to <clears throat> take advantage of that. The fact that you're vulnerable, the fact that you are grieving right now. So um, let's take a look at spread number two. Spread number two is the advice for you. Here's the advice spread for you, Aries. Uh, this is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. But to be honest with you, I was also asking what is this person's intention towards you, Aries, or how is it going to end? How is it going to play out? Um, we have the Devil clarified by the Seven of Swords. We also have the World. We have the Tower and we have the Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with uh, Capricorn. So yeah, as I was expecting, uh, during the first spread, this person's intentions are to take advantage of you. Plain and simple. There is no other way to interpret the spread. And the advice for you is to just shut it down, to avoid the, the tower moment. Because if you don't, if, the, if you let this person into your life, then you will go through another devastation with the tower. The tower was the last card I came out. Um, so let's take a closer look. We have the devil clarified by the seven of swords. The devil is the personal Capricorn card, so this person rushing into your life could be a Capricorn, or it's actually one of the worst possible combos one can get. The devil with the seven of swords. The intention of this person is to have a little fun with you and be on their married way. It could be somebody you already know, or if this is somebody new, they will seize an opportunity. Even if it's somebody you already know, they are happy, they can finally uh, get busy with you behind closed doors if you know what, what I want. The devil is a, a very toxic person uh, coming in, and their intention is um, get busy. <laughs> and the seven of swords, clarifying the devil, the seven of swords, this is a card of a cheater, this is a card of a deception, this is a card of somebody who sneaks around, and in this case this is also a card of a player together with the devil card. So uh, what you need to do is uh, the next card, the world, and also the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. These two cards are talking about the same thing. The world is a card of an ending, but to me, the world is the happy end card. So you need to uh, end this chapter or don't even start this chapter with this person rushing into your life, right? And the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of an ending, so you need to shut this person down. Don't even let them into your life. Uh, because the last card, like I said, that came out is the tower. Since the tower came out last, this is what you could experience with this person. The tower is uh, a card of somebody falling down to the ground. So eventually this person will leave you. Eventually you will go through this tower moment uh, with this person rushing into your life. So beware, Aries. Whoever is coming in, whoever is swooping in to comfort you, to take care of you, somebody who wants to show you a good time, and a uh, good time is all they want to have with you, unfortunately. Alright, so we're moving on to spread number three. Spread number three is about the next good thing that will happen to you in June. Here's spread number three, Aries. This is the next good thing that will happen to you, that will at least put a smile on your face spread. We have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, we have the Six of Swords, then we have the Ten of Cups as the potential outcome, and we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Well, I got some good news for you, Aries. Uh, you will have somebody brand new, and I do see it as somebody brand new coming to your life at some point in June. Um, with the Page of Pentacles right there, the first card that came out, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, especially Taurus. Because the next card I came out is the Hierophant. This is the personal Taurus card, but it could be any sign. This is a general reading. So the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody com coming in. And um, the Page of Pentacles is uh, what usually happens in the uh, beginning stages of a relationship. But whenever I see the Page of Pentacles, it always re uh, tells me that the person is testing the waters with you. But their intention is serious because th these are Pentacles, right? Pentacles are all about stability, Pentacles are often about long term, and uh, this person could be resourceful, <laughs> they could give you something, because <laughs> the Page of Pentacles uh, could come through as something tangible, something you can touch. So in some, sh in some way this person will let you know that uh, they are serious, they are ready to settle down, they are ready to start a family. You will know right away. 
by the way this person talks or what this person talks about or how he or she behaves around you. Right, the next card I came out is uh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. So, yeah, like I said, this person's intentions are serious. Right, uh, we also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to the right. So, at some point, this person will confess their love to you, or they will show you that uh, they are not only about serious, they're not only looking to settle down, um, they have a valid reason <laughs> when it comes to you Aries because the Ace of Cups is all about love it's uh, one of the best cards when it comes to love offers so uh, this person will be sharing their emotions with you the next card after the Hierophant that came out is the Six of Swords the Six of Swords is a card of improvement this is a card of a rough patch being over and the Six of Swords is uh, you basically moving out of choppy waters towards calmer waters and the Six of Swords is, could be literally movement, but overall the Six of Swords, like I said, this is uh, an improvement, this is your life getting better. And uh, what you're moving towards is the Ten of Cups. I specifically asked what you're moving towards, I specifically asked what is the potential outcome, and the Ten of Cups came out, and uh, I usually do more than one card in the outcome, in the potential outcome, but when the Ten of Cups came out, I was like, yeah, that makes total sense. The Ten of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. Uh, if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could have children together because uh, we see a couple of adults and also a couple of kids jumping around in the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is called the Happily Ever After card. So this person coming into your life, uh, this is their intention and this is where the two of you could be moving towards. Right? You could definitely be moving towards a commitment because uh, the Ten of Cups is a commitment card and so is the Hierophant, the second card on the left. And there's definitely love here with the Ace of Cups. Alright, Aries, so that's what I got for you. Uh, don't bother with that person coming into your life. Just stay away from them. If, especially if this is somebody who is in a hurry, somebody who is going to try to rush you into something. Um, but this other person will be um, on the calmer side, I guess. This person will be taking their time in a good way. They're not going to be stretching <laughs> their time. But you will know that this particular person is in it to win it. This is going to be the serious one for you. All right, so that's what I got for you for this month. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Aries, have an amazing June. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.